Hi everyone, so this is version 1.2 of my adjustable mannequin. It allows you to easily manipulate the mesh to create custom base meshes so you can start sculpting or modeling. If you've seen my previous video, you'll see me use the mannequin to create a full character from start to finish. The mannequin is how I start off all of my models as it allows me to create a custom base mesh very easily. In this version, I've modified all of the shape keys which allows for a much wider range of body types. I've also added some character presets and pose presets which allow you to very easily select a character and a pose and it will get you up and running more quickly. Anyway, let's just have a play around with the rig by using the different sliders. In pose mode, you can select any of the sliders and move them with G. Most of them control shape keys which will grow or shrink different parts of the mesh. The shoulder controls are the only ones that actually move bones. The muscle groups changes the default color to a color-coded model and the guidelines will draw contour lines along the model so you know which way each body part is facing. I've also added some character presets which you can find in the Asset Browser. Go to AM Presets and you'll see all of the different presets that are all based on recognizable characters. Again, in pose mode with no bone selected, all you have to do is double click the preset and the model will change. If you want, you could also right click on the preset and choose to blend the pose and this will allow you to blend different poses together. You can also select certain bones or sliders and the preset will only change those selected bones. In the Asset Browser, we can also navigate to the AM Poses folder and this will show you all of the preset poses. They're all color coded so that you can easily see the different types of poses like hand poses, action, sitting or standing. Like the character presets, all you have to do is double click them and the pose will be applied. Make sure to choose a character preset first and then when we apply the pose, it will still have all of the slider changes. You may need to adjust the poses for some of the more extreme character shapes as the poses were made with the base mannequin. Some of the poses also have weapons and for these you can enable the weapons in the viewport. Now let's actually start using the model. I would recommend creating a new file and then appending in both the bone shapes and rig collection. This means that our main file won't be changed or messed up in any way. You can hide the bone shapes collection and now we can start tweaking our model. To start off, I'm just going to add a camera and add in my reference image, in this case Hercules. I can start off by using one of the presets and that'll get me halfway. Now all I have to do is start moving the rig to match the reference image. You can also try and find a pose preset that matches the reference, but for this I'll show you how to do it from scratch. The rig uses a basic IK setup which means we don't have to move every bone individually. We can move the hands, hips or feet and the rest of the body will follow. To get the correct rotation of the arms, we can select either of the arm bones and rotate them. Sometimes pressing OR twice or choosing an axis with X, Y or Z and rotating will make it a bit easier to get the angle that you need. Now it's all just a matter of slowly rotating and moving different parts of the body to match the image. If you find that the limbs are bending too much, you can actually just scale either of the arm or leg bones, which will straighten the limbs. At this point, I've done all I can do with the slider, so I just need to start adjusting the model manually. We can do this very easily by selecting the model and pressing Ctrl A and choosing Apply Visual Geometry to Mesh. This will remove all the shape keys, but keep the changes, allowing us to now go into edit mode to modify the mesh. We now have much more control over the model, so you can edit it as much as you need until it matches the image. Now I want the model to be all one piece, and we can do this by remeshing. In the Object Data tab, we can go down to the Remesh section and click Voxel Remesh. If the remeshing removes too much detail, let's say in the hands, you can turn down the voxel size, but do it slowly because making it too small might crash Blender. Now all you have to do is go into Sculpt Mode and start smoothing out the model. I like to select the Inflate Brush and then just go around the model pressing Shift to smooth everything out, and then I use the Inflate Brush to build up any areas like the joints. This might seem like a lot of steps, but after doing it a few times, you can get to this stage within 10 minutes, and from here you can start sculpting further or retopologizing. It's very quick and easy to get to this point, and then you can actually start designing your character. If you want to have multiple characters in your scene, you'll need to duplicate both the rig and mesh, and then you'll have two completely separate rigs that you can play with independently. Lastly, if you want to create some more fantasy-style characters that have multiple limbs, you can easily do this by duplicating the rig and mesh, deleting the parts of the body that you don't need, and then just moving the extra limbs into place. Now you have two separate rigs, but for this kind of thing, you would probably want to go back later and create a custom rig with all of the controls that you need. I hope that wasn't too much info, but hopefully now you understand how to use the mannequin, and I hope it helps with whatever characters you do in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.